Hello students, we are going to uh, have a sample of a financial statement analysis and the first that we're going to do is your uh, liquidity ratio, okay? Wait, hindi na tayo, sorry. Hindi siya magkakasya. O, dito tayo. Um, so, if it is liquidity ratio, what are those? Pag liquidity ratio, ang titignan nyo lagi yung asset section. Okay? You have to look at your current asset section and your current liability section. Kaya laging uh, ang result mo dito ay magagaling lang sa items from current asset and current liability. And in this case, which are your current asset? You have five items, okay? But with this problem, you have cash, short-term investment, no? Accounts receivable, inventory. Eh, apat lang yan. Ano yung uh, pang-fifth item? If you have prepayments, okay? And your current liability in this case will be accounts payable and short-term notes payable. So, you have two items. Now, what comprises my current ratio? Okay? Your, or rather, my, my liquidity ratio. The first one will be your, yung sinabi ko. Ano yung sinabi ko? Current ratio. O, eh, ano ba yung paggagalingan nyo? Current asset at current liability. So, it would be current asset divided by current liability. And, saan nyo makukuha to? Oh, you compute at the same time with me. Hanapin nyo. Ano-ano to? 35. Ayan. Plus 15. Plus 50. Plus 50. Okay? And then, ano magiging denominator mo? You have 10 plus 40. So, yung 150, you divide mo sa 50. Tama ba? 50 plus 50, 100. O, uh, 35 plus 15, ilan? 50. O, di 150. 10 plus 40. O, ayan. 150 divided by 50 is 3. Anong sagot mo dyan? 3 times. Or, for every 3 peso, for, for every 1 peso, of your uh, liability, you have 3 pesos for your payment. No? It's even 3 times as much yung capacity mo. So, pagka liquidity ratio, ang result ay either in terms of peso mo ire-reflect or number of times. But So, 3 times as much na kayang i-cover yung short-term obligation mo. Ano na ang liquidity ratio? Anong sinasabi nito? That is your Capacity to pay. To pay what? Short-term obligation. Those that will be due in a year. Okay? O, ano yung susunod? Susunod ay, uh, you have acid test ratio. Or quick ratio. Siyempre, galing din yan sa current asset. O, oh, alin dito sa 1, 2, 3, 4 na yan, ang pinakamabilis na maiko-convert mo sa cash? Ang inventory, mga tatlong step yan. Bakit? Inventory muna siya, tapos AR, tapos saka palang magiging cash. E man, pwede namang bilhin agad yung inventory, magiging cash. Oo naman. E pero, normal sa negosyo na may umuutang. E, this, I would say gusto mo, merong receivable yan. At napakadalang sa isang negosyante na ang kanyang uh, inventaryo ay eh, agad binibili lahat sa kas. Tsaka pag gumawa kayo ng plano, talagang may kasamang pautang. ba? O. O di ano lang magiging quick asset. Cash, short term investment, at saka receivable. O di ano lang yung matatanggal. Itong 50 sa dulo. 
So, magiging 100 yan. Tapos, ganun pa din, 50. O, di ito magiging 2 times or 2 peso. Anong ibig sabihin yan? Na kada pisong utang, may dalawang pisong pam bayad. Diba? O, ano yung pangatlo natin na pwedeng isama dyan? Working capital. Okay? Ang result ng working capital, pesos. Ano yan? That is cash uh, or current asset. Yan natin isa-isahin yung current asset. Less current liability. O, ano to? 150 less 50 is equal to 100,000. Anong ibig sabihin nito? That you have 100,000 to support your operation. Kasi pag sinabing working capital, ito yung uh, regular na puhunan na available para pang suporta doon sa operating activities ng organization. Okay? So, ito ang uh, uh, pwede nyo gamitin. Meron din yung pinaka uh, strict sa kanila, yung cash flow ratio. Ano yung cash flow ratio? Yung cash na agad, ano yan, 35 plus 15. So, that would be uh, 50 divided by 50 equals to 1. Ibig sabihin, kada piso na utang mo ay may pang piso kang pambayad. Uh, in case when your credit creditor demand, no, immediate payment. Ito yung pinaka, pinaka, ano, dito, uh, strict kasi cash na agad eh, diba? Eh, ang short-term investment, ano to? Sabi nyo, mami, hindi pa siya cash. Naman, pwede nyo ibenta yan. No? Eh, yan yung mga nasa stock exchange. Sandali lang, pinakamatagal na dyan eh, tatlong araw, diba? O, oh, yun. So, yan ang inyong liquidity ratio. So, anong tatandaan natin sa liquidity ratio? Ang liquidity ratio ay siya nagsasabi as a wrap up capacity to pay at ito ay meron tayong diniskas na apat. You have current ratio, asset test ratio, uh, you have working capital and cash flow ratio. All of which will come from the current asset and current liability section of the balance sheet. Thank you and Good day. Always be safe.